What's going on, everybody? We're back on the crew two today because, well, I finally unlocked the Bentley Moliner Bacalar. Hopefully, I said that correctly, but I probably butchered it. Um, anyway, guys, to get this vehicle, you have to hit level 49 in the motor pass, which luckily there's about 28 days since I was recording this video. Uh, probably a little lower now, obviously. Um, but you have to hit level 49 for this vehicle. Um, luckily, it's free to hit 49. If you're wondering, leveling up the pass is actually very easy, guys. The weekly challenges you can do here are actually very simple. Um, every week, I think there's four or five that come out. Um, as you see there, yep, there's four, as you see, for the next week, um, which is eight levels. So you get eight levels per week, which is really good. And then you could do the daily challenges as well, which will help you level up quickly. Anyway, let's get right into the car right now. All right, guys, jumping right into the customization. So obviously, I'm not going to lie, first glance at this car, um, this thing is really freaking, like, dope looking. Like, I mean, that that thing, the, the Bentley is just beautiful. So when it comes to colors, you can do official colors or pretty much any other colors with... Pretty much any other car you can put the said colors on. Official colors, on the other hand, are probably what I'll go with, though. So here are all the official colors if you want to see what they look like. Obviously, I think they all look pretty awesome. Personally, I think I'm going to go with blue because I think blue looks pretty awesome on there with the yellow outline there that you see. So I'm going to go with the blue color there on this. And when it comes to liveries, whatever liveries somebody has made, Top 100 or whatever liveries Ubisoft and all that have, and most of those liveries can be on other vehicles as well. So getting right into the visual parts here, you can change the rims, but personally, who is going to want to change the rims to that when you have a rim looking like that? I mean, that rim just, wow. Good job, Bentley. That that just, this car is gorgeous. Um, looking at the caliper colors, uh, I don't know if I'm going to change this or not. I thought about doing maybe a yellow color on this or something to match it, but I think by looking at that yellow outline, it looks more like a copper finish maybe. Like looking at that a little bit, but um, anyway, guys, going into the colors here, I could go to some type of copper type of colors that might match it a little bit there maybe something like that looks pretty cool and then when it comes to the interior color i have it just regular um probably not going to change anything here um you could if you want uh, as you see here you can change it there i mean that does look pretty cool but personally i think i'm just going to leave the color as is there you could get the yellow stitched outliner if you wanted to which actually looks pretty awesome um not gonna lie on that you could change this as well to make the interior look you know special and all that and then finally, if you hit X on that, you can go into the insert, which probably makes it carbon or the other thing there. So, yep, yeah, there's obviously a good amount of customization. Going to probably leave that carbon there. Look at the interior in this thing. My goodness. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, I'll probably leave the interior regular code there. And then when it comes to vanity items, pretty much whatever you have, there's what you can put on. Put some crazy tires on it if you want. Probably not going to do that. Or you can put some smokes on it. Pretty much... Whatever you really have, like I said, unlocked is what you can put on the vehicle. So for this one, I'm probably going to go with the French Touch. And then you could do Nitros, whichever Nitros you own again. For this one, I'll probably go with the Earthbreaker Nitro on there. And then Underglows, whatever Underglows you have, Window Tints, and then finally Horns, which, well, I'm probably going to go with the Firewolf. That's pretty much it guys on customization. Let's go drive this thing around and see how it is. Driving outside, so taking a look at this thing, um, well, like I said, probably one of the most beautiful cars ever. I mean, this thing is just, wow. Uh, so let's start it up real fast here. Woo, let's listen to the engine sound. Actually sounds really good. And then jumping right into the interior here, let's see how it looks. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this thing is, very, very pretty. All right, let's drive it. See the dials work there. Look pretty cool. This is definitely a very cool sounding vehicle. Um, I also do not believe I have any parts on it right now, which I will do in a second to test out the speed on it. So this is pretty much a stock run right now. Obviously running pretty nicely. Let's put some parts on it and then drive it. All right, guys, arriving back outside. So I obviously have the nitrochemist set on here now to test out the speed. So I do not have anything done to the handling at all on this car. See how it does stock, and then I can always do something to it later on to see how it will turn then. So acceleration-wise, it seems to be pretty good. Um, the car obviously feels really nice driving, and I'm not on the greatest of roads for this. Please stand by. All right, guys, driving on a better suitable road to test this thing out a little bit. Now, obviously, I'll be doing a top speed run on the flats, but first, let's do a top speed run on the actual asphalt here to see how it does. Like I said before, this car actually sounds really good hearing that engine there. Honestly, really digging this car. I'm kind of surprised that this car is actually added to the game. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, what? Pretty cool. We have a Bacalar in here. I mean, this thing is really nice. The interior is just so 
pretty in this car. Wow. So here's a Nitro Chemist top speed run on the asphalt with this car. Let's see what it can get to. Wow, 253 on the wow, 253 on the street is actually very quick for a street car. This thing might be one of those cars that actually might compete very well in certain races and stuff like that. I mean, this thing is honestly very impressive already, and I'm honestly kind of surprised that uh, get that top. A lot of cars top out at like 240, 245. This car's got a but 10 miles an hour may not seem like a big jump, but it is when you're doing a race like that. All right, guys, arriving at the salt flats again. Let's do another top speed run on this thing just to see how it does, and well, let's see how this thing runs, honestly. Um, see so we'll do another 253 on the salt flats here. I know sometimes it's a little different. Um, just first glance at the acceleration there with Nitro Chemist. Uh, this thing is actually pretty ridiculous. Um, this might be one of the cars I might have to start running more often. Um, who knows, I might even replace some of the other cars I drive for my go-to street vehicle. So let's see what it can do with top speed. As you'll see there, 253 again on the salt flats. So that does show that it does do 253. Even on uneven ground, which is pretty awesome. I cannot wait, guys, to use this thing in a race. And let's see, maybe I won't do it on the sleeper. So, let's drive this thing in this race see how it does. Now, obviously, like I said, I do not have a build or anything on this car at the moment. So, let's see how this thing does without a build. And then I can tweak it from there. So, honestly, overall, how is the car so far? I'm going to be honest, guys. This thing is actually really good. Like, if you guys have not leveled the passive at all, I would honestly try to level it up a little bit and get your hands in this car before it's gone. Um, this thing is actually really good, and I'm kind of surprised. I'm looking forward to trying it out in some summits when the vehicles are no restriction. I'll have to try it out in some of the races, because this thing is actually pretty impressive, and it actually has some really good top-end speed to it. Uh, using Nitro Chemist on it, I noticed that it does accelerate very well. I noticed in the start of the race, I haven't used it at all. Uh, not really needing to. The acceleration on this car is actually pretty impressive, too. Um, some cars might take you from a drag in the beginning, but I feel like this car is one that will probably come back and catch up to you, which is pretty crazy. Um, overall, what do I think of it so far? So, like I said, the looks alone, um, this might be one of my favorite cars, honestly, guys, just the looks alone. I mean, this car is really nice. Um, it's pretty easy to get. It's got that level 49 in the past, which doing the weekly challenges, daily challenges once in a while will get you there pretty easily. Um, speed overall, guys, like I said, this thing is pretty crazy. 253 miles an hour for a street car is actually insane. Um, do keep in mind that is with Nitro Chemist, so not having Nitro Chemist might make you a little bit slower not by much though you just go through nitrous faster obviously which not really too big of a deal and i'm gonna do a probably a quick top speed run here right here actually which would be pretty cool let's see oh yeah this thing gets to see this is what i'm saying this thing gets to its top speed so quickly it's kind of crazy that oh well i'm on the road i just went 257 right there um this might be one of the fastest street cars in the game guys i mean this is honestly pretty crazy i know there's other cars that probably do 250 easily too but this car is honestly blowing my mind already let's go in first person and drive it for a little bit in this race to see how it looks and how it does there obviously visibility wise if you're one person that likes driving in first person this car is pretty good visibility wise um not too many things obstructing your vision there which could be a good thing unless you you know get annoyed by that rearview mirror which doesn't seem to bother me too much um another road looks like you can get some good speed on so i'm not using nitrous right now and i'm sticking right at 204 and then once you go down the hill a little bit there Let's see if I can hit another, like, 240 mile an hour or drive right off in the grass. Alright, let's see. This thing's very impressive, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this, like I said, it, it's hard to even, like, put into words. You, you guys have to just, uh, you probably go test drive this car, but that's not gonna be the same as having, like, a set on it. Anything like that and being able to race it. But so far, this thing is honestly very, very good. Um, definitely can't wait to see this thing can do in summits. It's probably going to be up there with some of the top tier cars, like the Super Ligera and stuff like that. The Lamborghinis are really good in the street class, but there's going to be a new car that's coming out in a town now, and this thing's going to really show up, I think. I mean, this thing's pretty awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and definitely check out the Bentley.